Hello YouTube, this is Kazuki13 here, checking in again with you guys with a brand new game. Well, it's not really brand new. i actually been playing this since elementary school. Uh, I wanted to share it all with, uh, share it with you guys, if, you, if some of you may have not have heard it before. Or if you are a huge Naruto fan and you want to be able to play uh, play something online in between like other games that you might be playing or something like that. It's a really quick game, something that I've enjoyed playing since, again, since elementary school. So the, the game is called Naruto Arena. And um, what you do is, is you pick a, a team of three ninjas, and once you pick those three ninjas, you create a team. So as you can see in the corner, right above my uh, tag, uh, there is Eno, Haku, and Sh uh, Shippuden Rock Lee. And I specifically say Shippuden Rock Lee because... There are a variety of Rock Lee's, just like there are a variety of Naruto's. So just like in the Storm games or in the Ultimate Ninja games, there's a variety of, of the same ninja. So, um, enough with the talking. Let's get straight into the action. And let's start up a match real quick. And just show you guys how this game works and stuff like that. Uh, uh so... I eventually want to uh, start recording like a lot of different gameplays of a lot of different games, mainly ones that I can try to climb up like leaderboards and stuff. So this game specifically has a leaderboard with um, other players that play around the world. So from uh, from Spain all the way to Belize to Romania, pretty much anywhere in the world, and all of them are. Uh, you know they range from really 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 good to some pretty subpar strategy uh, people now uh, in this game you really don't have control over what chakra you get uh, I'll explain the chakra element in a second for people who have not played this game before uh, as you can see it's not my turn it's my opponent's turn so I gotta wait alrighty he just he didn't really do much. All he did was do this. Um, so this is free. He don't have to pay anything for it. It looks really broken if you look at the effects, but it really doesn't do anything. Um, so what do I want to do? So I can use demonic mirror. Uh, I would definitely use this. And yeah, I'm gonna turn on that. So as you can see. As you guys saw, well, if you didn't, I'll, I'll show you again on my next turn. You have uh, specific chakras. So, there's white, there's green, there's blue, and there's red. So, the white is Genjutsu, the green is Taijutsu, the red is Bloodline, and the blue is Ninjutsu. Right? So, each and every ninja does a specific type of Jutsu based on that uh, type that they need. So, for instance, Rock Lee only uses green because he uses Taijutsu, obviously. Uh, Eno uses white because he uses Genjutsu, my things. So, uh, sometimes it takes a little bit more t for them to use an ability. For instance, like how you see that black uh, piece? That black piece means that it's a random chakra, it does not require. Uh, any specific thing, it just requires a little bit more. So I'm a Thunder team, actually. And just say my turn on that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so what I did was, is I just stunned their entire team and made sure that my team cannot get stunned. Uh, yeah. Haku is Haku is a it's a really good ninja in this game. I really like playing with this guy. Um, but uh, as you guys know. This series is way past Naruto, like the original series. So it goes all the way up to Shippuden, and uh, they're getting ready to start uh, developing the uh, guiding characters. So Boruto, Sarada, and pretty much all the rest of the other beginnings that were introduced in the um, in the in the series. So as you can see, she tried to stun me. But because of Haku's ability, I ignore that. And I'm going to. 
does she ignore? Yes, she ignores everything. Oh wow, damn, that's pretty fucking good. So I'm gonna stun her and then do this on them. And then I'm gonna do this again. Stack this on me. So that that uh the leaf rising wind. What this does is, is it prevents um, her from dealing pretty much any damage for the most part. So what she does is, is she does uh, 15 less damage to uh, any character. But I think she ignores that because she was able to still do 30 damage. And I know she was the only one that wasn't stunned. So I'm thinking that she ignored that and she didn't take the damage that she would have took. Which is kind of booty. But... That's Sakura. They, they try to overcompensate for some characters. I'm not saying like Sakura is a bad character. I'm just saying like she wasn't exactly a good character either. She wasn't my favorite from the series. And for obvious reasons, if you've seen the series. Um of course they st so what he just did was is he um he stunned my rock Lee to prevent him from doing any skills and he stunned uh you know to stop her from using mind body switch so with mind and body switch what he did was is i stunned you know his you know to prevent her from using any jutsus or any um from anything really she couldn't dodge she couldn't block she couldn't do anything but she stunned me because fucking Sakura is broken as shit and yeah well whatever so I stunned her team in response but Sakura can still punch uh, you know again cause she ignores all harmful abilities because you know balancing and stuff uh, this is not looking the best right now I need to I need to focus on a ninja and kill them. One of my strategies that's always worked for me in um, in terms of playing this game is to not really deal as much damage to everybody equally, but really just focus a single character and try to kill them as soon as possible. So I'm going to actually kill Sakura because she can heal everybody else, and I really don't feel like I really don't feel like dealing with her. Yeah, so I'm gonna kill her. Goodbye. Well, yeah, yeah. I knew she wasn't going to die. And the reason why she didn't die is because the um, the mind body uh, disruption. What it does is, is it uh, randomly targets an enemy and deals thirty piercing damage. So it's not guaranteed that I would have killed her because it doesn't necessarily targets the person that you want to target unless they're the only person to target so if I would have killed off two of the other ninjas and she would have been the only ninja left then she would have died guaranteed but because there's two other people there are one out of three chances that you get the person that you actually picked oh well alrighty so she just died uh, that was fun um, I'm gonna kill Sakura and I'm going to start aiming my focus towards Gara. The reason why is because Gara can instantly kill a character when he puts them in a sand coffin. But he requires a busload of chakra to be able to do that. And that's why it's so difficult to use him on the team sometimes. But if you have a real stall heavy team, like a team that's meant to stall, then he can do work. And he can just pretty much slaughter everybody on their enemy team because they can't stop it in any way shape or form unless they stun him but yeah um, just waiting for this guy's turn but uh yeah if you guys uh enjoyed the video and you think it's pretty cool i'll upload some more of this um dang so they got me in a pretty tight bind right here so both of them just stunned both of my characters so, Eno put Rock Lee into the mind body switch. Uh, no, the mind transfer jutsu, right? Well, mind body switch, but you guys, whatever you want to call it. But um, pretty much, I can't do anything about this in particular. And if 
Gara is able to kill Haku, then Haku is dead because he got the uh, sand coffin on him. So I know for sure next turn, but if he doesn't kill Haku uh, this turn, then I will be able to use the demonic ice mirrors and then really turn this battle around. So, oh uh, damn it! Why is Sakura so good? I had no idea she was so good. I wouldn't have. Uh, she's so good. Yep, he killed them. Damn. He had all the chakra he needed to do that. That's not fair. <sighs> he just stalled me. And, uh, oh well. Everybody loses, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's just a uh, normal match. So uh, they have normal matches to pretty much uh, help you complete ninja missions to unlock more ninjas. So I'll show you guys right after this battle. Um, so the uh, ninja missions are just pretty much meant to, uh, you know, help you unlock more ninjas later on in the game or whatever. Uh, I think next turn, if I don't die next turn, I'm going to kill the rest of his team. I can still win this. I could definitely still win this. So yeah, I'm about to kill Gara. And then I'ma go for Eno. Or should I kill Eno? Yeah, I'ma kill Eno first. And then I'ma kill Gara. Cause Gara can't hurt you. Uh only Eno can. So I'ma kill Eno. Then I'ma kill Gara. Yeah. That's how I'ma come back. You guys ready to see this comeback? Ooh, baby. I'm about to make this magic happen. Watch this. Just got to wait for my turn. He probably, he thinking very carefully on how, because, again, I'm in that situation again where if my opponent does not think about his move carefully, he will lose. And I am going to take the victory away from him. Damn it. He stunned me again. Fuck! I was an ah. How do you get an ah? That's not fair. He, as you guys can see, there's a lot of stun lock in this. So to prevent your opponents from having a turn, you just keep constantly stunning them, which is a pretty decent strategy. But there are ninjas that get around it. It's just you know he happened. I don't have those ninjas with me, so. I can't really get around it. Like, Haku would have been the answer, but he killed Haku early on to prevent me from, you know, uh, from being able to prevent my ninjas from being stunned. So, kudos to you, sir. Good job on the battle. But, um, yeah, so let me show you some of the other characters that they have. So, as you guys can see, they have the original cast, the original nine ninjas. The, uh, the, get, the nine getting ninjas. And then they have the three sand ninjas. Gara, Konkuro, Tamari. And then they have the three sound ginnings from Dotsu, um, Ken, and uh, Zaku. Yeah, Zaku. And then they have the original three uh, class, I mean, no, Team 7 ninjas. So Kakashi, Obuto, and Ren. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, they also have, you know, multiple pages of ninjas. So, it goes through the entire series of Naruto, filler included. So, they have um, Hanabi, Drunken Lee, um, Rehabilitation Gara. Oops, sorry guys. Yeah, so Rehabilitation Gara, which is the Gara that appeared for one fight. It was uh, the fight between him and Kimimaru, just in case you guys are wondering what is the rehabilitation Gara. Um, then they got this uh, order, um, Obero, yeah, Obero. Obero was the, was a, I think he was a, a missed village ginning from the tuning exams. Uh, then they got this guy, 
I, I forget the fuck. Yeah, he used to be really good. Uh, I think he's okay now because they nerfed him a little bit. But so they do a lot of changes and nerfs and stuff like that. So some characters are really really good. Some characters get really really bad, or some characters just become okay eventually. I think he's okay. I don't think he's like broken like he used to be. So that's fair. Um, this character pisses me off a lot. Like I, I, I don't. I don't have fun fighting against this character. I I think he's really cheesy, especially saying how he was only a guinea and he died off so early in the in the in the series. So for him to be such an annoying character to deal with, it's just like it, uh, you died off so early. Like why are you so annoying? But yeah, uh, they had this guy. In case you guys don't remember, he was in the tuning exams. He fought against Sasuke, but was defeated promptly with the Lion Bras. So, yeah. Um, this guy fought against Konkuro, as you can see in the picture. Um, he also lost bad. I think he even got killed by him. With the... Uh, I'm not sure. I think he killed him. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that in the original series in a long time but yeah they got they even got Aruka in here which is very rare because as you know as everybody knows Aruka really doesn't make too many appearances in the ninja games period um he's only been in a rare number of games he's been in um in the storm series recently with three revolution in the new one uh storm four and yeah that's pretty much it like I think he's only made three game appearances so to have him as a playable character in this which he is pretty good just in case you guys are wondering um, it's pretty cool to see um, I don't want to waste too much time going over every individual ninja um, but they do pretty much have every single ninja you can think of so even if they only made one guest appearance um, you know they pretty much have them I do not however have every single ninja in this game um, there was a couple of counts that I did where I had pretty much every ninja, but um, with stuff that's online, if someone finds out your password, you can lose it. So that's pretty much what happened. Um, but yeah, here's some more ninjas that you're gonna unlock. Uh, you're gonna unlock uh, Naruto's mother. I can't think of her name right now. Please, somebody tell me if you uh, if you remember. But I. Her name escapes me. But you can play with three versions of the fourth Hokage. So this is him when he was a Jonin. And you can play with uh, Baki. So as you can see, these are all the Jonins right here. So that's why they lined them up like that. So his mother was a Jonin, apparently. And um, Minato was a Jonin on Kakashi status. where They would send him alone on missions to battle against pretty much everybody by himself. Um... Baki, um, uh, Kabuto, which is actually my favorite villain ninja. I'm going to make a video later um, talking about like why I felt like Kabuto was a really, really good villain character and why I was really, really happy with him as a character in general because I just loved his mysterious, I mean like how mysterious of a character he was and really just how like how relatable of a character he was to me um but yeah i will definitely make a video about that later if you guys want to hear about it um they got Tsunade, jiraiya or Ichimaru, the first okage what well, these are they uh their first edo tensei for so when Orochimaru first brought them back the first time and they wasn't at their full potential power if that makes sense because the uh, first time, he put them in Ginning bodies. And their Ginning bodies can only handle so much of the first and second Hokage's uh, abilities. So, with that being said, of course they're not going to be at the strongest they can be. Um, then they have the third Hokage. Then they have the fourth Hokage. So, this is him as a Junning, and this is him as the fourth Hokage. They have the... Um, what are they called again? Oh, Demon Brothers. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the two, two early, early ninjas that um, Naruto, Kakashi, Sakura, and Sasuke all fought against. Um, and where Naruto made the vow to never be a chicken again. So, yeah, these guys are in this game. So, like I said, they put pretty much any ninja that you can think of in the series. So, if you can think of a ninja, nine times out of ten, they're probably in this game, which is 
pretty damn cool. Um, here's some more ninjas from the Shippuden. So, this is where the Naruto original series stopped. That does not necessarily mean that they will not continue to make, um, you know, uh, uh, pre-Naruto characters. But for the most part, they're done with these characters. Um, as you can see, this is where it starts to go into Shippuden, because here's Naruto Shippuden. Um, then this is Konohamaru. I, d I don't have him yet. Um, Sakura, uh, Sai, Kiba, and then, you know, more of the Shippuden characters from the Leaf Village. Then the Shippuden characters from uh, more of the Leaf Village. And then they start to transition into the sound, uh, to the Sand Village. And then into the Rock. And then, as you can see, they start transitioning into the Cloud Village. And then, so they do it by village, and then they go into the rogue ninjas from the, uh, ha uh, I forget what he called it, the Taki, Taki, the Haku, uh, well, Sasuke's group, you know, his, his band of merry men, <laughs> and merry women, women, mm, well, his band of friends, yeah, let's put it like that, well, lackeys, friends? Well, at one point in time, he did consider them as friends. And, and, uh, we'll have a discussion video about that one, too. Yeah. I still think Sasuke is a scumbag character, though. Anywho, uh, so yeah, they have two versions of Sasuke. The um, pre, uh, pre fault Itachi, as I like to put it. So before he fought against Itachi and found out the truth, and then after he found out about the truth. So, as you can see, he has the showing gun in his eyes with the uh, the eternal. Well, not the eternal just yet, because he didn't have uh, Itachi's eyes. But he did unlock Mangekyo's showing gun, as you can see in the picture. Um, then they have Shippuden, Kabuto, Jiraiya, Orochimaru, and then another Orochimaru. So this one is when he tried to take Sasuke's body. So yes, they did give you a form where. Um, if you ever wanted to play with the White Snake uh, or tomorrow, you can definitely do that. Then they had Double Body Kisame, Double Body Itachi, which is pretty damn cool. Um, then they have the uh, Akatsuki and the Pains, all each and every single individual path of Pain. So let's say you had a particular favorite Pain, you can play with that one specifically if you wanted to, instead of just playing with all of them. Um, then they have the, uh, you know, more of the, uh, then they start transitioning into the Edo. So, when Kabuto brought back everybody from the dead. So, hey, if you didn't get enough of these characters, we're bringing them back for you. So, they got Daru two times. Not once, but twice. Uh, Zabu, uh, Zabuza, Haku, uh, Sasori. And then more of the Edo characters. So the legendary swordsmen, uh, gold and silver, um, Hanzo, the third Raze Kage, the second Tutsu Kage, the third uh, Tetsu Kage, and so on and so forth. And the uh, previous Gen Judikis. Well, this is the only previous Gen Judiki here. Then they have some of the summoning, uh, some of the more broken characters. So. Sage Mode Naruto, Sage Mode uh, Jiraiya, and then two of the Tail Beast forms, and then uh, Chakra Coat Naruto. And that's pretty much all the characters they have at the moment. They release characters all the time. So that's why I really enjoy playing this game, and I've been playing it for, oh god, um, I started in sixth grade. So damn, 12 years. Um, yeah, I've been playing this for 12 years, but, um, I have not been playing it for the 12 years consistently, but I've been playing it 12 years in total. So, yeah, again, uh, if you guys like it, um, I'll make some more videos about me trying to climb up the leaderboard. Right now, I'm trying to unlock, uh, Shippuden, uh, Shippuden, you know, that's why I had, you know, on my team, um, so yeah, right now I'm trying to unlock uh, Shippuden, you know. 
So I've been trying to figure out some good team compositions for it. Uh, if you guys have any good teams for Eno, please let me know. Um, I've been struggling a lot to try to get her. <laughs> like, I've gotten every other Shippuden character relatively easy because I'm pretty good at team construction. But for some reason, I just can't make her work for some reason. I don't know why. She's a really good character, and that's why I'm like, why am I not making it work? But, anywho, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy, please leave a like, a comment. And especially, please, subscribe. Anywho, uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll, talk, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.